Hey, it's so good to be back here. For those who've been following me for some amount of the time, most likely since the start of 2019, you probably know that despite the fact the last video uploaded here is a couple of months old, it's not like I've been gone completely. So I've still made quite a lot of uh, good videos about a Zabbix, about a configuration, how to achieve some different results, explanations of features and stuff like that. And you can find all of that in the official channel of the Zabbix uh, in the YouTube. Just search for the Zabbix and you will find it. For those who are here for the first time, you're welcome. Uh, click subscribe if you like all the touchy videos. Uh, check out the history of uh, videos. You'll find a lot of useful stuff about monitoring. But what I wanted to talk about today is a Go Access utility. So first of all, what is Go Access? It's an open source, real-time web log analyzer. And the video itself, it won't be like a complicated step-by-step -step configuration or installation or how to use it because trust me it's absolutely not complicated you don't need any knowledge uh, in uh, i don't know any kind of softwares development uh, languages stuff like that to use it just download it execute a command and you will get an output so uh yeah open source fast to install fast to use why should we use it Let's say you have some kind of the web page, and uh, at this point, it doesn't matter is this web page published online for for all the internet, or is it a local page on your in your company or at your premises at your home? Let's say. Still, quite often, uh, we want to check what's inside the access log of web engine, and uh, bear with me. There are no limitations on the web engine format, so you can see. Nearly all web log form formats are supported, like Apache Nginx, AWS, Elastic, uh, CloudFront, and other stuff. So, what I want to say, uh, if you want to check the access log, the more viewers, the more visitors you have in your page, the larger, of course, will be the access log and less easy it will be to understand something inside it like yeah okay we have some dates we have urls ip addresses uh the file is 600 megs uh, there's like thousands of lines what we can do with it most likely nothing well in those cases when we do know something specific let's say we need to check some specific ip address yes we can grab we can search in the log but that's about it if we wanted to analyze the traffic to our web page let's say check from which countries uh, the most ips are connecting which user is most active on which page exactly he is the most active what about the times, days of weeks? So basically what I'm talking about is uh, something similar to Google Analytics. But uh, this, this can be done just with a small utility based on your access log. So you can see the examples. Goaccess.io, uh, there is a live demo button to see how it actually looks like and what you will get. But uh, just like usual, I've prepared an example for you. Uh, and uh, long story short, download section here just like usually i made a mistake i've i didn't had this utility installed on my demo machine uh, and we will be using a centos 7 virtual machine uh, i didn't had uh, go access installed on it so i clicked the download section okay installation okay we need to configure it from the sources and i did it and just then i started to scroll down and found out that actually there are available packages for the debian or ubuntu uh, fedora arch linux gen 2 osx for bsd open bsd and some other stuff windows go access can be used in windows through segwin c packages to install so you can use it also on the windows and uh, well the most uh, pity for me was that in the bottom in the most bottom of the page there is also uh, documentation how to install a go access uh, how to build it with a docker containers so if i would scroll this page till the bottom in the beginning most likely i would use this method to get it up in a container from the docker since i'm lazy and i just opened and picked the first lines that i saw i compiled it from the sources what you need to know to compile it from the sources. So let me make this somewhere here. Uh, first of all, wget and 
the URL which is absolutely legit you can just copy paste and if you don't have a wget utility then just yum install wget then you need to extract the archive that you will download go inside it and run configure enable utf8 and enable joip legacy which basically will allow you to display uh, which address which ip address is from which uh, location like the United States or, uh, or Germany or something else then make and make install but most likely after configure you will receive a error message failed uh, first one was I have an example here uh, JOIP something missing so you need to install a development package if you're using a Red Hat or a CentOS you can copy paste this line yum install JOIP dash devil if you're using some other uh, distributions of the Linux I'm not sure will the naming of the package will be the same but you can just google it and find it on your own then another thing will be yum install and curses devil so these two development libraries are needed to configure and install uh, go access utility why so to get a location of ip address and this will uh, be used to make our html report more beautiful so graphs so dashboards and stuff like that then when we have a go access installed i'll go here so <clears throat> we have it as a binary so we can execute it and i have an example here so go access then let me copy paste this well, there we go go access then we need to specify location of our uh, web engine access log and here in the TMP I've downloaded uh, example access log from Apache from this github page so this one uh, and it was this one just in some cases if you need to I don't know if you want to play with a go access without actually touching your own access logs uh, if you're worried about a security or stuff like that you can use this one it's actually 600 megs quite a big one uh, but yeah it does the job so I just wanted to make the report more live because my own access log has just a couple of lines and of course since this uh, uh, downloaded access file is uh, 600 plus max it will take like a minute or two to actually to produce a report but uh, just for now for demonstration purpose I can use my my own access log that I have from my uh, Apache web engine when I was playing with its habits here so it will be var log httpd access log and then let's take something uh, yeah let's take this minus C click enter then probably one and only configuration parameter that you need to use uh, with a go access utility is a date and time format so for the Apache it will be a first one click space and you can see the examples the log format uh, click C to add or edit it date format and a time format we don't need to change anything in this example so we can just click enter and there we go we can actually see the, some dashboard information uh, analytic data about the unique visitors per day requested files uh, static requests which page was loaded what was the method was it a post what is the get uh, sorry somebody's beeping me um, Okay, let's continue. Uh, amount of the hits. What else? Not found URLs. So somebody was looking for something which actually not even inside in our web engine directory. The visitor host names. So IP addresses which were actually connecting. Hey, that's me. Uh, connecting to my virtual machine. Look to my Zavix frontend. Operating systems. Also, uh, browser information. Time distribution. This is actually a clock. Uh, would then refer URL so from which URL I was uh, redirected to the next one uh, and referring sites status codes and 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 so on so on so this would be the report in the CLI which is also uh, quite great if you're familiar with uh, with a CLI with a Linux if you work in a daily let's say you've just connected to your web server and you want to check the access log you can just on the fly create a report check it here close uh, get all your data and you're done but there is also another way 
and the another way is this one so still go access still you need to specify the location of your access log of your web engine and then minus o so the output and in my example i am putting it inside a zabbix directory simply i have a uh, zabbix front end up and running on this virtual machine and i will call it report.html and log format remember the date and time combined for the apache I won't run it on my example access log, but I already did it to my uh, downloaded access log from the GitHub. So the one which is 600 meg something. And again, it took like, uh, I guess a minute to prepare, prepare a report.html, which placed it under my web server directory. So now I can access the page like this. See, the report.html, just like I've specified in the minus O as an output, which is report.html. And this displays the same information we just saw in the, uh, in the CLI, in the terminal of the Linux. Absolutely same, same uh, dashboards, widgets, unique visitors per day, including the spiders, requested files, uh, static requests, not found URLs, uh, with, with the URLs itself, again, the methods, the uh, text amount, uh, visitor host names and IP addresses, the country, so that's why we needed uh, geolocation, uh, geoIP uh, development library, operating systems, Windows, uh, Android, Linux, uh, the browsers, which is the top, we can also use like uh, sorting and, and ordering in the outputs like this uh, panel options so you can change this to let's say bar or hits visitors so change to how uh, the dashboard will look like time distribution again based on the clock how many hits how many visitors text data referable urls sites and uh, a lot of different stuff so geolocation most, uh, let's say, most hits we have from the Europe and the amount of the transmitted data. And we can see, so, Europe, and click, and we can actually see uh, countries. So, Italy, Austria, Ukraine, and there we go. All this information can be used to, first of all, uh, improve the quality of your web page to product. So, based on the content, the times, when you want to... Uh, when you want to publish that com content, you can block some kind of uh, bad spiders, bad bots that are constantly uh, bugging out your web page. Uh, what else? Here in the configuration, we can change the team for from dark to the bright, uh, dark blue. Yeah, so a lot of stuff. How many panels? Uh, layout, vertical, probably will be easier to read on... Uh, if we're just sharing this and then uh, what's what's the best thing here we don't actually need a web engine to use it like in this example yes I've used a local access log I've placed it to the directory of my uh, Zabbix web page just for me to be able to access my virtual machine IP slash Zabbix slash report HTML but actually all the information that you are seeing here is in this one single file report.html so we can create a report.html take an email send it to your managers send it to your colleagues and they will just open it in the browser and they will see the same information um, this will be a static report but it is also possible to add a real-time HTML tag to your go access command which actually will produce a real-time dashboard in that case You won't be able to send it over your email, but if it is hosted here on a web engine uh, It will be live so each time you will refresh the page if there will be some new entries in your access log It will also appear here in the dashboard uh, Yep, that's about it uh, long story short um, don't forget that this is just for a visualization. Uh, no aggregation are possible, so we're using just the data from our access log. It's not possible to use a Go Access as uh, alert utility, so it won't send any emails. Um, you cannot change any, set up some triggers or stuff like that. Just take your access log and make it prettier as HTML output or just a console output. Uh, 
in your virtual machine for a quick troubleshooting. So that's about it for today. Just like usual, I was thinking that this will be a five minute video, but I think we're all already talking for about like 15 minutes. So uh, any questions, comments uh, about any topics, suggestions about the next topics, uh, write down inside the comments and we'll see. Uh, yeah, most likely I will also create some, some new stuff here. So thank you guys, just like usual, and have a good week. Goodbye.